Hello everybody, I am Bolt Matrix, and today we are taking a look at the Zodiac Hero Combiner. This is a set I picked up over at SirToys.com. Link for the set is down in the description, so let's go ahead and get into it. There are six figures total in this set, so the first two we're going to look at are the Ambulance, which is the weirdest looking ambulance I have ever seen, and the Ambulance even comes with cannons. They, I'm assuming these are grenade launchers, because... They're not going to be able to shoot forward. But the ambulance looks... Eh, it's, it's fine. And then its brother, the fire truck. Specifically, the ladder truck or the fire engine. Actually, no, this would not be a ladder... Well, this might be a ladder truck. I don't know. It's similarly very weird in shape. But I guess it works. All right, both of these have the exact same transformation. So we'll start with fire truck. Flip out the rear, the, the paws on the rear, and then rotate them around like that. And then come to the front and flip out the paws there and rotate those down two clicks. And then come to the back of the vehicle mode. Flip, or actually, we gotta remove the nozzle first, nozzle slash ladder, in order to open the door up so we can flip the head out. And then peg the water cannon in. And we get the dog. And then we do the exact same transformation roughly for the ambulance. Flip the legs out of the back of the vehicle mode. Flip the legs out and rotate the wheels for the rear of the vehicle mode. Flip up the back twice. Flip out the head. And here we have the horse. So we have the dog, which has an open and closing mouth, and it looks pretty good. And then we have the horse. Nay! And both of them work really well. I, I think they both work incredibly well, given the size. They kind of have a web diver vibe to them. And now, if you remember Web Diver, that was a show back in the late 90s, early 2000s that had vehicles that were weird looking that turned into very chunky hybrid human animal things. Oh, yeah, the horse, you can flip down the guns. Now, size wise, how big are these things? Well, here is Hot Rod, roughly a deluxe class transformer. It, Hot Rod is roughly a deluxe class transformer in height. Well, maybe we'll go with Soundwave. Soundwave's a Voyager class, so. Yeah, they're about half the size of a current Transformer Voyager. Next up are the helicopter and the train. The train is a train with a giant fist sticking off the back. And it, too, has guns, though I'm not sure how useful that would be, considering it's a train. But, hey, the train works. It's got wheels underneath, so that's cool. The helicopter, it, too, has a giant fist sticking off the back. And the helicopter looks pretty like an attack chopper only real problem with the helicopter is the pin up here is not loose enough to allow the blades to spin easily so you can't actually sit here and go wee spinning blades but yeah oh the little guns here at the front nice touch and they can move so that's cool we'll start with the transformation for the dragon first grab the back of the figure and pull it apart take the tail fins and snap them together Reach underneath the rails, the landing rails, fold them up, flip up the dragon head, fold back the, well, propeller blades, and then simply fold out the dragon cl claws. And if you want to, you can then take the tail and kind of pose it up and move the dragon body around a little bit if you feel like it. But that's pretty much the dragon. The only issue with the dragon in dragon mode is the fact that the claws are pretty loose. They don't really have much in terms of staying strength for holding it up, but it does stay there as long as you don't, you know, fiddle with it too much. The train is easy to transform as well. Come to the back and flip up this section that looks like a gun that'll form a tail. Come to the very front of the vehicle mode and get your finger in there and split the head or the front of the head of the train the front of the train apart and then we can extend the snake head and the snake head does open and close 
and just for giggles, extend the body so you have a more elongated snake. So you have effectively two reptiles. You have a dragon and a snake. Oh, and the dragon mouth does open, though ah, it, it's hard to get your finger in there and get that dragon mouth to open. Both of these work pretty darn well. I like both of them. I think the dragon works a little less good, but it does work. I think this is the second or third Zodiac-themed, Chinese Zodiac-themed set that I've gotten that has a helicopter that turns into a dragon. The train snake makes sense. That, that does work. Both of them, pretty darn good. Lastly are the crane truck and tank. <laughs> the crane truck is a treaded vehicle, treads in the back, wheels in the front, and a little floppy. These ball joints here don't aren't the tightest in the world. So if you put pressure on the crane, it does have a tendency to collapse a little bit. The crane does extend forward. Can't really grab onto anything though. And it does turn a little bit, but crane truck is it's neat. The tank though, hands down my favorite. Hands down my favorite of the vehicle modes. Yes, there's a giant bullhead hanging off the back, but I don't care. It turns 360 degrees. The turret itself elevates a nice amount. It's well detailed, it's well painted, and it feels freaking solid. It's the most solid of all of the all of the figures. That's not to say that any of the figures feel bad. Everything on this set feels pretty good. Yeah, everything on this set feels pretty good. But the tank vehicle mode is far and away my favorite. All right, transformation for the little crane truck. Come to the back and flip down the feet. Come to the front and extend the front of the vehicle mode to form some arms. Push open the cab, reach inside, and flip out the head of the animal. And we have ourselves a little monkey. Little monkey. So we can collapse the chest a little bit, but ah, it doesn't really work. So I end up just kind of doing this for the monkey. That works. For the tank, can you guess what this turns into? Why, yes, it's a bull. Flip the head up and then reach inside the underneath the treads and pull them out or fold them out. Oh, listen to those ratchets and then flip down the feet. And there we go. And then the cannon acts as his tail. So the bull, probably the weaker, weakest of the animal modes in terms of originality, but it works. It's a big blue ox. Now where's Paul Bunyan? And then the monkey, ah, the monkey's all right. It's incredibly stupid, but it's all right. So if you guessed, we have half of the Zodiac here. Dog, monkey, dragon, ox, horse, snake. We are missing the other six. Hopefully there is a second set of combiners that is the other six. That would be really nice. Now, combination time. What do we got to do? Well, the horse, and the horse and the dog will form the legs. The Lower torso will be formed by the monkey, the upper torso will be formed by the bull, and then the arms will be the dragon and the snake. So let's go ahead and get into it. But before that, here's a size comparison with Voyager Class Siege Soundwave. Just to give you all an idea on how big these things are. All right, starting with the legs. First, we'll grab the dog, unpeg the water spout ladder thing, and return the dog to the... return the dog to the fire truck mode. We'll do the same thing for the horse and return it to ambulance mode and fold up the guns. Oop, wrong way. And getting the horse back into ambulance mode. This is the hardest part. You have to push the head forward and then you can fold it up. All right, so what do we do? Well, we come to the very front of each vehicle mode and split the front of the vehicle mode up, open, and then that becomes the foot and the heel on both sides. That's literally it. 
And then we push both of those off to the side and grab ourselves a monkey. Unpeg the crane, take the feet, and straighten them out, and then come under the toes and flip out these pegs like that. And they will peg into these holes on the back of the vehicle modes, like so. And there we go. And then we look upwards. Then for this, we return it to its vehicle mode and take the entire section, fold it forward until it snaps into place like that. Next, we'll come, next we'll take the bull and return it to tank mode. And grab the head or the turret and pull the turret off of the vehicle revealing the robot head. Spin the robot head around so it's pointing at the bowl. Take these little sections on the side and flip them out. And then there is a component or a sliding piece here and that will slide in to the top of the monkey and snap into place. And then we take the bull head and push it down and put, flip the horns up and we're almost done. For the snake, return it to vehicle mode except don't push it in and then you know like that and then that will peg into that ball joint which is a lot harder to do than you might think it requires way more force than i care to admit and then we do the same for the dragon straighten out the arm fold the legs up do that on both sides and tuck the head in and yes there is enough clearance between the landing bars and that thing oh god that this requires so much force it's not even funny and here we have the zodiac combiner in its fully combined mode and it looks awesome all the colors work incredibly well. I love the fact that the right side is is red, the left, or the, I'm sorry, the figure's left side is red, and then white on the other side. Yes, you can mix and match them. And it just works incredibly well, and it looks great. And that head sculpt is fantastic. It's kind of like a semi-evil Optimus Prime that I really, really dig. Now, it does come with weapons. The crane is actually a gun. There's like a gun barrel on the back there. And that pegs in to either of the hands. And then the ladder extends. And this is supposed to be a sword, like that. And then there's this. This doesn't peg in anywhere. It, or it's not supposed to peg in anywhere. And there's nothing, there's nothing really to do, except according to the directions, you're supposed to peg it in to his back, like this and it's just supposed to dangle there which i feel like is a horribly missed opportunity if there was a peg hole on either of the outer or on either of the arms that would be great and i've thought well maybe we can peg it into a hand of some sort or somewhere but it doesn't fit like it's too big for the one hand and let's try the other hand it might fit over here. No, it just, it, the peg isn't big enough. It doesn't work. So I was thinking, well, maybe peg it into a screw hole or something. No, it can't. So the directions actually just have you plug it in right there on the back, which again, I think is a major missed opportunity. Another missed opportunity is the posability. You see these joints. I don't know why these joints are here because there's no rotation, but there is a ratchet joint here, but there's, there's no way to pose it. So the only posability you have is Power Ranger posability, which I'm fine with, but it would have been nice if, they, if there was a swivel here and a swivel here, so you could actually get some more posing out of the figure. Otherwise, head does ratchet for the turret, there is no torso articulation. There is ball joint articulation in the shoulders. There is ball joint articulation in the in the legs. And there is some hip articulation, but it untransforms it. 
the ball joints in the hips are too loose. I could fix that. And the swivels here for the knees are a little bit too loose. Again, that could be fixed by tightening the screw and or disassembling it and adding just a smidge bit of super glue in here and then work, breaking that super glue and working it into, into the joint. So those are the only problems I have with the figure, but otherwise I really like this set. It is a ton of fun. It is a great transformation set and it's just something different. It's something fun and it has it has kind of a Monstructor feel to it. Now, size-wise, Voyager Class Siege Soundwave. This thing ain't tiny, but a better comparison would be Commander Class Jetfire and something something Combiner Wars Optimus Prime or Ultimates Prime or something something Prime Prime Guy. As you can see, it's the same size as both of these. Overall, this set is a ton of fun, and at only $30, it is totally worth picking up. I've spent way more on other combiners for different Transformers lines over the years, and I gotta admit, these cheaper ones that I'm getting from SirToys.com are so much more fun and more imaginative than a lot of the other ones, especially some of the stuff Hasbro's been putting out over the past few years. I'm not saying that Combiner Wars is bad. I'm just saying that I'm having more fun with these more unique sets. So folks, let me know what you think of this set down in the comments. Be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Head down to the link in my description to head over to SirToys.com to pick this set up for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Ball Matrix, and as always, I will catch you next time.